What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Superpower Review. I'm Kevin Virginia. Normally I review things. Normally I'm in a studio, but as you can see, I am not today. <laughs> today I'm going to be showing you guys my one <laughs> new comic book day pickup today and plus a really cool unboxing video for you guys. So stick around. Um, you know, if you guys are used to the channel, if I do videos at home, normally you see a hideous green wall behind me and I'm sitting on a red chair. And I wanted to find some way of me doing this, you know, my video where I actually have like my collectibles, like kind of make it somewhat of a cool background, I guess. Like trying to make something cool like the studio. So I hope you guys appreciate it. I know I do. I like seeing my dust collectors. <laughs> So uh, let's uh, get into this video. Let me show you guys what I got for <laughs> this such a hefty, hefty haul. Man, I almost need. <laughs> I need. I need all these muscles to pick up this one book. Uh, so this is what I ended up picking up for New Comic Book Day. Uh, I ended up picking up Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number three. Um, really, really cool story. It's it's. I have to say it's not the best out of the first two series that came out so far, but it's still a really, really fun story. Um, I didn't read this book yet. Obviously, I'm very excited to, but I did flip through the pages real quick at the comic book store, and it looks like we're going to get a origin story of Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I know what you're thinking right now. You're probably like, man, I am so sick of seeing... You know, Martha and Thomas Wayne get shot in Crime Alley, and, you know, I, I get it. I feel you. We see it on, like, a weekly basis, right? <laughs> or, you know, the origin story of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles getting oozed on and, you know, turn into mutants. So, I get it. But there's a little bit of a twist on this one. Again, I didn't read it, but I saw glimpses of it real quick. And it looks like it's going to be a really, really fun issue, and I'm really excited to read this issue. Now... Uh, if you would like me to review this book, let me know in the comment section below. I would like to hear from you. Um, but it's this story has been really good. I love um, uh, James Tinian's writing, Williams art, Freddie Williams. Oh, I, I, I swear, I, I would if Freddie Williams did every Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle book for IDW, I'd literally pick it up. I, I would. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I really would because I feel like he's like the perfect artist for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I really like his artwork a lot. Um, really cool twist of the timelines, what's going on, you know, that's really cool. Uh, Krang being the villain with the anti, uh, teaming up with the anti-monitor is also really cool. So, like I said, you know, it's, I don't feel like so far it's up to par from the first two ser mini series that came out, but... It's still a really fun read, and I highly recommend it. Great team up. One of my favorite team ups. I know I say this a lot too on my videos, but um, when the first series came out, this is what got me back into comic books. That's when the addiction started all over again. So that's what I picked up for New Comic Book Day. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys picked up for New Comic Book Day. And now we're going to get into this unboxing. <laughs> oh... So, if you're new to the channel, um, I want you to watch um, my last video of my mega unboxing that I did. Um, I'm not going to... I'm just going to leave it there, okay? Um, and if you guys are, you know, familiar with the channel, I want you just to keep in mind of, last, of my last video I did of the mega unboxing. So... Got this package here. Um, I used uh, my last bit of amount of PayPal money I had, and um, I'm gonna tell you guys, okay? Uh, There's not gonna be unboxings for a little while. I know I probably say that all the time. It's like, hey, why don't you check this unboxing video? Uh, no, totally gonna take a little bit of break of unboxing because it's getting ridiculous. <laughs> um, so, let's just get into this. Again, I, I, I used my last amount of PayPal money to, to get this book, and um, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I should be ashamed. I should. 
So, um, this uh, eBay seller, yeah, again, the infamous eBay sellers, put this in this cardboard envelope, and, you know, I gotta suggest to people, when you're packing up books, it's not a good idea. It's not water resistant. If the weather's bad, this is gonna soak up water. And it's gonna absorb into my book. And someone's gonna be pissed. And I know who it's gonna be. <laughs> Bust out the trusty butterfly knife. And let's open this baby up. By the way, it was nice to do this video for you guys today because um, I got to leave work early today. Boss was nice enough to let me go, realizing that, you know, holiday week. So that was always nice. That was always nice. All right. We're almost there. We're almost there. Need the fucker one more time. Need the knife. All right. Ooh. Wow, that's some thick board right there. That's a thick, thick board. All right, so I got the book here. Uh, looks like the person has it <laughs> from the inside, which is smart, so the cover, you know, doesn't get damaged. Look at that thick board this person put that on. That's nice. That's pretty good. I, I, I enjoy that. That's nice. Bag's not in mylar, though. You know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so again, guys, just like I said, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> ooh, it's nice. <laughs> just keep in mind of what happened in last week's mega unboxing. If you're new, again, check that channel out, okay? So, this is how I'm gonna start this off, okay? I unboxed it, okay? It's nice. Big goal. Okay, for this year, for uh, this year's comic book buys, my w on my wish list was a Batman 227. This is the Batman 227 I unboxed in my previous video. Okay, um, this book was two hundred dollars. Now it's hard to catch on video, but there is some like wrinkling here. I don't know if you guys can catch that. Yeah, still not bad. Okay. The grade matches. The grade is about a 3.0 to a 4.0. I totally agree with that. Now, this was a buy it now. The book now I have in my hand was, oh, this is my alarm by the way. Sorry, off track. This book that I bought, um, I forgot that I put a bid on and I ended up winning that bid. So I went from having zero Batman 227s to having one from last week and now I got you <laughs> I have two Batman 227s now now this is kind of uh, let's face it this is a mistake <laughs> this is a mistake but uh, this is also a happy mistake this is a good mistake because you know what um, I got this one for a really good deal this book happens to be in better condition than the one that I previously bought and paid the same amount of money for. Look, this looks so good together. Look at me. I am... I feel so... I don't know. I feel so amazing right now having two of these in my hands. I feel like Thanos with the Infinity Gauntlet with all the gemstones. Like, I feel powerful <laughs> with these in my hands. But no, guys, this, uh, this book is in great shape. Um, it's got like a little bit of a corner there, corner issue. Not that's not that's not major. Got a couple of spine ticks there. Again, really not that bad because book is pretty damn old. What what year is this from? Uh, it's like early seventies, mid seventies, uh, and just like a little bit of a chip there. So two uh, Batman 227s. And this is also, <laughs> I'm just gonna sugarcoat this a lot. <laughs> Cause uh, again, let's just face the facts here. It was a mistake. <laughs> but not only am I having two, I was probably gonna buy another one for the future anyways, because <laughs> I would really like to have Neil Adams sign one of these books. So um, I like to have when I'm when I'm usually doing si uh, signatures for artists, I usually like to have the lower grade signed, uh, so I can have the nicer copy just clean 
and just as is. I like it that way. So I think I'm going to use uh, the one with all the wrinkles in it. Probably get that pressed out because it can get pressed out. Um, no matter what, those breakages, will, those color breaks will still be there, of course, but the wrinkles will come out. And I think I'm going to keep this one just to, uh, you know, keep in the collection and keep nice. But this one's in nice shape, man. Uh, I have, you know, I thought I got a great deal on this one for 200 bucks. I really did. Uh, this one is in so much nice in condition, and I got this one for the same price. And I want to say... And uh, eBay had the photos of the back, and the back was pretty nice. Um, not a lot of stuff going on with it. The back page was pretty white. So, um, again, I'm not a professional grader, but I would give this thing maybe a 6.0, maybe even a 6.5. So, I, th I think I did good, guys. <laughs> I did good, but I did bad at the same time. Let's just face it there. So, look at that, huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those are some sexy Neil Adams Batman covers, if I have to do say so myself. Look at them. So pretty. So nice. So um, that's the unboxing, guys. Uh, if you liked anything in this video, make sure you hit this, you know, that like button, whatever side it's on. Somewhere here, there. I don't know where it is on your screen, on your side of the end. But hit it. Touch it. Click it. <laughs> and do the same thing. For that subscribe button if you're new to the channel again if you are new to the channel i normally don't do videos at home i am in a studio if you have some time some spare time check out the uh other videos that i produce from the studio but that's gonna do it for today's episode guys uh like comment subscribe and uh i'm gonna go um i'm gonna go uh read these books now because I haven't done it yet, so see ya!